78 year old woman from Bullhead City says that police arrested her for a simple act of kindness and now she's suing over an ordinance that she claims violates her constitutional rights. News 3's Maria Thompson breaks down what this woman is fighting for. Norma Thornton seen here was arrested back in March after Bullhead City Police saw her giving food to homeless people at a public park. The city dropped criminal charges against her, but Thornton is now suing the city, claiming the law itself violates her civil rights. Okay, well, I'm going to call my, my higher ups and figure out how we're going to handle this, okay? This is police body camera footage from earlier this year, given to us by Norma Thornton's attorneys. Very, very, very scary. I thought I was going to go to, <laughs> to spend some time in jail. It shows her getting put in a police car after they say she was feeding the homeless at a public park. Still, I thought it was kind of a joke, someone playing a prank. Turns out Thornton was accused of breaking a Bullhead City law. The ordinance makes it illegal to take part in a food sharing event in a public park without a permit. But it's just for prepared foods not prepackaged items like bags of chips or canned sodas. And it states the event meets this criteria if it's for a charitable purpose. The city says this ordinance is to ensure public health and safety and to prevent trash from piling up because of food sharing events. But Thornton claims that's a mask, punishing people for helping the homeless. Bullhead City cannot treat people like this. Norma, like everyone in this country, has a constitutional right to engage in charity. Thornton's attorneys with the Institute for Justice filed this lawsuit against Bullhead City. The suit asks a federal judge to strike down the ordinance and prevent officials from enforcing it. She wants to be able to go back to feeding food in the park. And she wants other people to be able to join her. News 3 reached out to Bullhead City officials for a comment. They responded saying the ordinance is meant to ensure that prepared foods given to homeless or anyone outside a private party is safely and responsibly served. That requires a food handler's permit. Back to you.